Good afternoon, Spartans. This last week we've been hearing daily prayers based on the campus ministry guy's favorite parables and miracles. And it got me thinking, what's your least favorite parable or miracle of Jesus? I want to tell you the story about my least favorite miracle of Jesus. So back in 2018, when I was fortunate enough to go to the Holy Land, I got to see a lot of the amazing places where Jesus walked, talked, and performed miracles. I sat on the hillside in the Garden of Gethsemane and walked barefoot into the Sea of Galilee. We visited the tomb of Lazarus and Peter's mother's house. But my least favorite place to visit was the Church of the Loaves and Fish, which honors the miracle of Jesus multiplying the loaves and the fishes and feeding the great multitudes. Here's the photo I took there. It's a pretty church overlooking the Sea of Galilee, but I was kind of mid on being there because I've always disliked this miracle of Jesus. It boils down to two reasons. The first reason is that people always seem to want to explain away this miracle, saying things like, maybe Jesus just encouraged the crowd to share their food with one another. So the miracle is really just that he encouraged them to love one another. This miracle, more than some others, seems to be doubted or questioned by people. And in the past, I've even questioned whether Jesus really did anything miraculous with the loaves and the fish. The second reason is because this miracle is fairly ordinary. Calming the storm at sea or bringing a little girl back to life, those seem godly and much more appropriately miraculous. Feeding a bunch of hungry people who forgot to pack their sack lunches seems pretty mundane by comparison. It wasn't until I was flying home reflecting on my trip that I saw the connection between these two reasons and realized why I disliked this miracle so much. What I realized is that I easily accept the big miracles, like Jesus walking on water or raising Lazarus, because I believe that Jesus is God. If Jesus is God, then of course he could walk on water or raise the dead. So why was I so uncomfortable with the idea of Jesus doing something far less godlike and multiplying food for the crowds? I realized it's precisely because feeding the crowds is so ordinary. And ordinary is much closer to me and my life. See, when I've prayed to God for help in the past, I've found it a lot easier to pray for big help, like for family friends who are really sick or comfort to those mourning a loss. But when it comes to ordinary things, like struggles at school or trying to be more patient with my kids, I've sometimes thought that those struggles are too ordinary or too mundane for God to really care about or help me with. But if I've prayed to God for the big help, why shouldn't I pray to God for the ordinary help? I know sometimes it's because I thought God couldn't really care about my ordinary problems. And I know sometimes it's because I've been afraid to invite him into those little details of my life. So the miracle of the multiplication of loaves and fishes has really taught me a lot about how I see God and miracles, and it hopefully can teach you too.